had short wavy strokes along the top of the head and smaller lines to represent the fly hairs at the edges. Outline the eyes and the main marks around the face and then sketch the main lines of the nose, mouth and the chin. Now add the eyebrows and surround. Be careful in not adding too many dots into the eyes. Fill in the darks in the nose and the deep shadows of all the skin folds which the gorilla has lots of. Darken up the mouth shadow and add the few creases of the lips. Spot in the shadow below the lower lips and uh, the corner of the lips. Add all the small creases around the nose and the lines which show up the rounding or shape of the nose area. Use the same technique we use for the mouth and nose to draw in the creases and marks around the eyes. Pull the strokes outwards and downwards for the cheek hairs. Rough in all the short hairs on top of the head. Curve the strokes to indicate the shapes. Now, now build up the various fold areas and the direction of the hairs and be careful not to add too many strokes in the lighter areas. As you work along, add guidelines here and there to help you keep the shape of the head. This area of the forehead is lighter than the rest. And notice how these curved lines separate the forehead from the rest of the large head. The ear is very small and we can see only the top fold. There is quite a deep shadow around it. Draw a series of small lines for the cheek area and mark off the shoulder fold and draw in the lines at the neck fold as well as the long hairs around the side of the mouth. The gorilla has a hairy chin and we need to show this. Darken up the shadow under the chin and carefully show the light colored hairs of the goatee. Darken up the other deep shadows and you will notice that I do a lot of minor touch-ups every so often. We need to compare these pen strokes against the reference photographs. They must follow the hair directions. The top section is a series of short curved strokes to indicate the rounding of the shoulder. And also to the left side. Unfortunately, I tend to jump around quite a bit and I've just seen an unfinished area on the side of the head. And while I'm there, I touch up areas that need darkening up. Complete the chin shadow and the left edge of the chest. Use a fine pen to lightly cross hatch over the top of the head. Carefully note where the light and the dark areas are. Don't overdo it. Continue to build up the tonal ranges over the whole head and the face area, finishing off around the mouth area. Being a bit of a perfectionist, I've decided to add a few more lines in the face area. Now please bear with me as we come near to the end of this drawing and my habit of jumping around while drawing. You see, my eyes are constantly comparing what I'm busy drawing against the rest of the drawing as a whole. The chest has very short hair, so we can just cross-hatch this area. Some more cross-hatching around the eyes, and then finish off the right shoulder. Please like this video if you have enjoyed watching it and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe so we can inform you when we bring out more new tutorials like this one. If you would like to see the paint along version of this class head over to our website onlineartlessons.com Thank you for watching.